Welcome back to Jackson Christian School, continuing with our pregame. We're just under 15 minutes from kickoff here, 7 o'clock start here at Jackson Christian School. USJ and JCS getting set to take off again. We mentioned both of these teams are 3-0. and Looking to stay that way tonight, one will go home with their first loss of the year. Again, I want to remind you, this is a copyrighted telecast of Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Any other use of these pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. Also want to remind you that all of our kickoffs and punts that tonight are sponsored by Campbell King Interior. Campbell King Interiors, excuse me for that. I want to thank them and all of our sponsors who make USJ football possible. We appreciate you visiting them uh, throughout the week and thanking them for their part in bringing this broadcast to you. Again, the Bruins getting set to take on the Eagles. Bruins coming off a 28-19 win last week over Trinity Christian Academy. JCS coming off a 28-20 win at Good Pasture. Game they trailed 20-7 and a half. Scored three touchdowns in the second half. Pitched a shutout on defense to win that one 28-20. Again, they faced one mutual opponent so far this year. First game of the year, USJ beat uh, Trenton Peabody 14-7. And then last week, or I'm sorry, the, the next week, JCS beat Peabody 47 to 14. So this should be an outstanding ball game tonight. Again, both teams here in Jackson, both teams undefeated. Crowd filing in. A little bit of a tailgate over there for the for the uh, JCS folks. USJ Bruins dressed out in their white and red, filling up the visitors' side. Referees are on the field making their conversations before the game. The teams still haven't come back out after their warm-ups, but they'll be coming out shortly. As again, we're about 11 minutes away from kickoff here tonight. As you mentioned last week, Noah Spencer, career high, 220 yards, 32 carries uh, in that win uh, at Trinity Christian Academy. His fifth and sixth touchdowns of the year. Uh, other guys that had big games, Titus Taylor scored. Alex Wallace called a first, uh, first touchdown pass of the season. And Sam McMillan on defense, along with Figueroa, both had six tackles in that game. Uh, five tackles each from Height and Terry. Ryan Hutchinson snagged six of the 14 completions from Howard. Spencer had 491 yards rushing in the first three games of the season. So he's obviously been a guy this team is going to lean on and obviously will be a big part of the game plan uh, tonight. Again, we mentioned you know, season stats for University School of Jackson this year. Their season totals will run down those stats as we've seen them Improving each game this year, their 3 0 record. Forty-one first downs to thirty-six, and we'll take another break as they are getting ready to do some pregame preliminaries. We'll come back and finish up those stats, and we'll have that much closer to kickoff. You're listening to USJ Football on Worthy Road Studios. That's right. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom on Carriage House Drive for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spa even more enjoyable. Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. 
we offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with elite dental care and let your smile say it all. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units, something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here. Welcome back to Jackson Christian School here. They'll be hosting the USJ Bruins tonight. Battle of the Unbeatens. Both teams 3-0. and oh. Both teams 3-0. and oh, About six minutes away, a little over six minutes away from kickoff. Again, both teams tonight 3-0. and oh. So we're looking to go to 4-0 oh with the Bruins tonight. We mentioned some of their stats before we took that break. 41 first downs on the season. 20 of those came last week at Trinity Christian Academy. On the season, USJ is 26 of 46 passing for 378 yards through three games. Rushing, they've rushed for 100, rushed 102 times for a total of 610 yards. They've had 146 return yards. They've fumbled once, lost that fumble. They've punted 12 times for an average of just over 28 yards per punt. They've had 22 total penalties on the year for 175 yards. And they've sacked the opponent eight times. And looking at the other side, USJ has only allowed two sacks. Uh, protected their quarterback there, as we see for good friend Brandon Shields with Jackson Post. And we shared a little bit of his information, as he mentioned in the paper this morning, that USJ playing their second straight road game, and they've yet to leave the city of Jackson. Played at uh, home against Trinid, uh, Trenton Peabody, and then at Trinity, and of course here at JCS tonight. On the season, Noah Spencer, total of 72 carries for 491 yards, so looking to go over 500, maybe even 600 tonight. We'll see what Noah Spencer can do. Been the workhorse handling the ball uh, for, through the first three games. of quarterback, Corbin Howard, 26 of 41, 378 yards and two touchdowns, receiving Hutchison with 13 catches, 140 yards. Sam McMillan, six catches, 68 yards out of the tight end position. Wallace, six catches, 107 yards, and a touchdown. Tackles, McMillan again playing both sides there with several of these guys. McMillan with 12 tackles, leading the team. Height, Terry, and Figueroa all have 10 tackles apiece right behind McMillan's 12. And interceptions this year, Noah Spencer has two interceptions for the Bruins. The captains are on the field. They're getting set to do the coin toss. Chase USJ and JCS captains are out on the field. And we're broadcasting high atop the press box, on top of the press box, to be a matter of fact. Beautiful evening for football. The sun is just set, or is the process of setting. Beautiful sunset over on the west, uh, over the trees there. Beautiful night for football. Game time temperature is going to be 78 degrees and no wind. That flag a moment ago still standing over there. Uh, down by the scoreboard is laying motionless against the flagpole. Again, the JCS and USJ crowds filing in here. Still a lot of folks outside the stadium coming in through the gate. A lot of folks down sitting in, the, in their chairs or on both sides of the end zone. A lot of folks here interested in this ball game tonight. USJ and JCS, both teams, 3-0. and And again, this is Stephen Aldridge joining you here, filling in for Steve Beverly. He was out of town tonight, so glad to fill in for Steve Beverly. He is no doubt taking care of us many occasions uh, and has done a good job. Forrest at Union, uh, even, even since his retirement, he still helps us out with volleyball and basketball and pretty much anything else we need him to do. Such a great guy. Does a great job for you folks here for USJ. Uh, just a top-notch individual. Glad to fill in for him. No stranger to USJ. I had the honor and privilege of doing radio for USJ 
a long time ago, we'll say, 2009 through 2011. I was privileged to do play-by-play on the radio for USJ Bruins, and those were three exciting years as USJ advanced to the state championship game twice in that span, 2009 and 2011. USJ played in the state championship game versus Knoxville Webb in nine, and then in 2011 played St. George uh, in those state championship games. Players like the Ober, the Overby brothers, uh, Jake and Preston, also people like Lee Mayhall, who was just inducted into the Madison County Sports Hall of Fame. So I don't want to start mentioning too many names. I will forget some, and I have forgotten some. That was quite a, quite a while ago. But my duties at Union, uh, when we moved to NCAA Division II, had to move uh, a lot of games to Friday night, so I was unable to do a lot of the football uh, after being in it for so long. But excited to be back, and we'll bring some, uh, hopefully some good news to you tonight as USJ getting set to take the field. Teams have now taken the knee, taking their huddles down in the end zones, getting ready to come on the field here at JCS Field. Again, a beautiful night for football. The USJ Bruins coached by Derek Pritchard. He is assisted by Jim Hardigree, Bryce King, Bo Wallace, who is the offensive coordinator, Nick Stamper, Anthony Sawyer, Alex Gary, Perry Brown, their trainer, Mary Tate out of Dynamics. And Dynamics does a great job. They are also uh, have a contract now with Union University over there. So we, we appreciate Dynamics much like the folks at USJ and many of the high schools around here do as well. They do a great job. USJ, of course, is in the Vision 2 Class AA West region. Again, with you mentioned, they moved up a little bit, so this is no longer a region game, uh, but again, a rivalry nonetheless. JCS has taken the field. USJ getting set to do the same. Behind the big blue, here comes the U. The Bruins are coming through the sign right now, led by the cheerleaders. The head of school at USJ, Don Rowe, associate head of school, Jim Hardigree, upper school director, David Suber, and the athletic director, Derek Pritchard. So the teams are on the field, and we're just less than a minute away from kickoff. Again, we want to thank our sponsors for making this possible. You're watching USJ Bruin football on the Bulldog. On the uh, ball game blitz sports network. Excuse me there. Adjust some papers up here. Again, we're on top of the press box here at JCS. So no seating as we have to look over the fence. So we'll be standing for the majority of this ball game. But man, what a beautiful night here as the JCS side is. Almost full. The USJ side is almost full on the other side over there. Teams are on the field. The Bruins will be kicking it off. And again, it will be a Campbell King Interiors kickoff as the Bruins will get the ball to start the second half. Kickoff duties by Anderson Preston. Kickoff back to the five-yard line. It is fumbled there for a moment. Picked up, though. And brought that back out to the about the 18-yard line. That's going to be Mason Vaughn for Jackson Christian School. So we'll start on defense there. See where they mark this ball. Jackson Christian will have about 82 yards to go. It is the 18-yard line, so return of about 13 yards on that kickoff. Back in quarterback, Austin Kelly. For JCS and a handoff and a tackle broken right away as Blake Rowland actually changed that. Deuce Lawrence, as we mentioned, Deuce. Broke a tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Got all the way out to the 32-yard line. That'll be a first down for Jackson Christian. First play from scrimmage. They line up in the shotgun again. There's Austin Kelly, the quarterback. Man in motion. Hand off to the man in motion. That's Mosley. He'll 
spin around and get a little bit of a gain there. He'll get about five on that play up to about the 37-yard line. So a couple of run plays first here for JCS, and they've moved the ball all the way from the 18 out to the just shy of the 38-yard line. So it'll be second down. Second down in about five, a little over five to go. Back in the shotgun. Three wide receivers out. Pass comes over to Mosley. It is caught there on the baseline. He breaks the tackle and he's going to run. Gets out of bounds over the 50-yard line down into Bruin territory. He's going to get all the way to the – they're going to mark it all the way down to the 40. I thought he may have got out a little bit earlier than that, but he got all the way down to the 40. So another big play there by JCS right out of the bat. Three positive plays. And they've gone from the 18-yard line all the way into Bruin territory. Ball is marked at the 40. Ball's handed off. They get out to about the 35, a little over the 35. JCS continues to move the ball right now against the Bruins. Terry got the tackle. Jack Collins, a little short pass on the flat there, and picked up about five yards. Another handoff there. It's going to go to number nine, his second time to carry Lawrence. That's Deuce Lawrence. He gets across the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Make that 29-yard line. They'll move the chains again. Another first down for, for JCS. The pass out in the flat, and it's going to be for a loss. Nice tackle out in the flat. That's going to be Miles Horton got that tackle. So that'll back him up to the 36-yard line. First loss, first play for a loss for JCS in this ball game. That backs him up there. Second down and 17. And they line up on the left hash mark. Two men in the backfield. Handoff goes to Deuce again. Breaks the tackle. He's in the open. One man to beat. He goes to the sideline. He's going to be untouched. And JCS will strike first. So they indeed went 82 yards on five plays and a Deuce Lawrence touchdown on a second and 17 from the 36 yard line. And all the way broke a tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. Kick is up for Jackson Christian and it's gonna be good. That kick is by Zach Sisko. So Jackson Christian strikes first, and they lead 7-0. We'll be right back after this break. Is your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes to belts to alignments to even air conditioning work, engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. Chris King here with King Tire Company. Leveling kits, lift kits, wheels, and tires, we can take care of that at any of our King Tire Company locations at a price you can afford. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Welcome back to Jackson Christian. It's 7-0 Jackson Christian over USJ. The Bruins will have the ball for their first drive. It's Jackson Christian 
Went 82 yards on five plays, capped off by a 36-yard touchdown run by Deuce Lawrence. And the Eagles lead this one 7-0, a battle of unbeatens. Both teams 3-0 entering this ball game. Again, a non-region game, but a bragging rights game, no doubt. Two teams just a couple of miles apart. As the Bruins take the field, be their first offensive plays of the ball game. Corbin Howard, the quarterback, set up in the shotgun. Got two wide receivers out to the right. Ball handed off to Spencer. He's going to be hit for no gain right there at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second if we're actually going to get a loss on that. And they back that all the way up to the 16-yard line. As the kickoff did go out of bound, or out of the back of the end zone, so they started at the 20. Out rolling is Spencer. I'm sorry, make that Howard. Now he finds his man complete, picks up about nine yards on that. It's going to be third down. It's going to be about three yards to go as the ball gets all the way out to the 27. Third down and three. Third down and three. The Bruins need to get a first down here. Again, they had 20 of them last week against Trinity Christian Academy. The handoff there, pass, or the handoff rather, to the running back, Spencer. He gets to the 30. It's going to be close. We'll see where they mark it. This is going to be a marked one. Ooh, looks like they mark it just inside the line. So if he did not get it, it'll be fourth and inches. They're going to look at it. They're going to say stop. They're going to measure it. The ball is marked just inside the 30. So at about the 29 and three quarters mark. I mean, that nose of that football is not far from that white line there at the 30. And you'll watch it with us. Looks like they're going to bring the chains out and measure this one. I figure it will be short. That nose of that ball doesn't look like it's touching the line, but we'll see how they call it. It'll be fourth and inches if it does not convert to a first down here. It is so close. It'll be one of those inches. It is literally centimeters. They're resetting the stick again, trying to get it straight up and down. They are saying first down Bruins. How about that? They had to reposition the stick, make sure it was standing straight up, and they got down there on their knees and were looking at it. That's how close that was. First down Bruins. The first first down of the ball game. And the offense stays on the field. Corbin Howard and company. Noah Spencer in the backfield. One rod receiver out to the left side. For the Bruins. Handoff is no, no fake handoff. Corbin out rolling, throws incomplete. Intended receiver on the far left side. It's going to be number 18. That's uh, Eli Yandel. The, pitch, the, the uh, pass was just a bit low. So it'll be second down and 10. 7.41 on the clock here in the first quarter. USJ at Jackson Christian. It's 7-0 Eagles. Bruins on their first drive of the ball game. Handoff goes to Spencer, and he gets pushed back. He might have gained a yard. I think well, they'll spot it. Yeah, they'll spot it out about the 32-yard line. So he picked up two on the, game, or on the run, but not near enough. It'll be third down and eight for the Bruins. And a beautiful night here. Packed house. Stands are at almost capacity, but so many people out in their lawn chairs, out on the end zones in different places. Still fans filing in at the gate. There's a long line of folks coming in there at the ticket gate. So see where they find a place to see it. Rolling out. Quarterback throws. Complete for the first down and out of bounds. We'll go Ryan Hutchinson, the senior. Wide receiver, a big-time catch there by the Bruins. Nice pass by Corbin Howard. A junior quarterback, Corbin Howard. Great pass there. Picked up the first down and moving it. On the run, maybe a gain of one. 
They're going to mark it at a gain of two. They'll mark it all the way out to the 44-yard line. That was Titus Taylor on that run. Second down and eight for the Bruins. Two wide receivers, one each side. Spencer in the backfield, fake the handoff. They'll throw out. It's going to be off the fingertips, incomplete from Sam McMillan. Well, Howard and McMillan passed just a bit high. Nearly picked off, or nearly picked up on the, the backup receiver. Nearly got there in time to catch it. Good effort there. And by Alex Wallace, who nearly got that tip pass and probably would have been a first down if he would have come up with that, but just a bit short. Third down and eight for the Bruins. Bruins converted on their last third down barely, but they got the first down on a call. They had to bring the chains out and measure. Very close. See what they do here. Two wide receivers out to the left. Back to pass. Had trouble, now scrambling. In trouble, pops it up. It's going to go out of bounds. He was hit while he threw that ball, so luckily it went out of bounds. That was kind of a dying quail, as you might say. Luckily, that ball went out of bounds. That was the interception waiting to happen as the defense got through the line there of USJ and really forced Corbin Howard to scramble. As he scrambled, he tried to get rid of it and was hit as he threw. But again, fortunately, the ball went out of bounds. We're going to have a Campbell King interiors punt right here as the Bruins are going to have to punt it away. Did not score on their first drive yet. Punt is up and away, and it's a nice one. Drew English gets it all the way down inside the 30. They're going to let it bounce. It's going to roll inside the 25. Nice punt by Drew English. The sophomore. The Eagles with the ball back. You're watching USJ Bruins football on the ball game sports blitz as the Bruins back on defense. USJ getting set. See if they can stop the Eagles this time. Eagles went 82 yards on the first drive of the game, five plays. Capped off with a 36-yard touchdown run. We'll see what they do this time. Leading 7-0, 546 to play in the first quarter. Bruins down by seven. Back on defense are the Bruins. Hand off to Deuce. Lawrence stopped at the line of scrimmage. Good defense there as they penetrated that offensive line and got contact behind the line of scrimmage. I think he may have fell forward to get to the – I think they're going to mark it about halfway. He may have picked up a half a yard on that. It's going to be right there between the 19 – I'm sorry, the 14 and the 15-yard line there. I'm sorry, make that 24 and 25-yard line there. So he picked up a half a yard on that play. It'll be second down and nine. Good defense that time to stop Deuce Lawrence. Play goes again. Another play for a loss as Jack Collins is tackled out there. Back inside the 20. So they're going to back him up a little bit there. Another five-yard loss on that play. That'll get him back to just over just about the 20-yard line. So we call it a four-yard loss. From second and nine to third and 13. USJ's defense good on the first two plays. We'll see what happens here. JCS getting in their blues. Got three wide receivers. Two to the right, one to the left. Man in motion. It's going to be a handoff. Tackle, but not going to be good. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. That ball carry was Trent Carrier. He gets up to the 20. Just over the 25-yard line. That is basically back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth down and about nine to go, maybe ten to go. Let's see where they mark it. They're going to go for it on fourth down, and they're going to say eight. Gave them a little bit more than I thought. Fourth down and eight. Timeout. Bruins. USA calls a timeout. We'll take it with them. You're watching USA Bruins football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network.
downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. At Nest Realty Jackson. Connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up. Welcome back to JCS. Bruins down by seven. And in that timeout, JCS elected to change their mind and punt. The ball is going to keep rolling. It's going to take an Eagles roll all the way down inside the 30. It's going to stop at about the 26-yard line. A nice punt. Good job by the Bruins defense there. After giving up a score, five plays, 82 yards on the first drive. Really came out, forced a three and out, no first downs. On that drive for JCS, and that's what you're looking for if you're a Bruins fan there. Nice job of adjusting. JCS, no doubt, came out of the gate, took the opening drive. Guess Jay had to punt in their first one. Started at the 20-yard line here. They'll start a little bit better here. Got out to the 26 after that punt. So the Bruins will take offense. Down by seven, 3.38 to play here in the first quarter. USJ at JCS. Both teams 3-0. Three, oh. three by in the back. That toss is going to go to Spencer. So they had three guys lined up in the backfield. And we'll pick up about four on that run. Another handoff, Spencer. He'll pick up a few more yards. He's going to pick up about three on that run. Three yards and a cloud of dust. Can't use that saying anymore as everybody's playing on turf fields now, so not a whole lot of dust out there. Third down and two nonetheless. Under center goes Howard. Handoff goes, it's gonna be close. Spencer gets the handoff and he's gonna get, USJ folks are saying first down, no doubt. The mark is gonna be, it's gonna be another close one. It's gonna be close. They're gonna look at it. Is he gonna call the chains? He is gonna not call the chains and say first down Bruins. Another first down for the Bruins. Their third first down of the ball game. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. Handoff. Spencer hit again. Maybe picks up a yard up to the 37 yard line. Again, he's not getting that big play yet, but they're moving the chains. He'll break one loose here in a minute. He's testing the waters. Again, as Howard has gone under center on this drive. No wide receivers. Coach Pritchard sees something here in this running game. Going to keep using it until something breaks. Now a fake handoff. They're going to have a big pass downfield. Intended receiver is going to be Mills Terry. A lot of contact down there. It's going to be incomplete. They do call a flag here at the line of scrimmage. Holding against USJ. I'm going to back up the Bruins. The it was holding against the Bruins. It has been declined. The so JCS declines that. So instead of second down and 
14. They're going to leave it at third down and nine. See if the Bruins gotten three first downs so far in this ball game. No points yet. We'll see what they do here. In the shotgun is Howard. He'll roll left. Looking downfield. In trouble. Has to get rid of it. It's going to throw it out of bounds. And it'll be fourth down and nine. Offense is heading off the field. Punt team on the field. Campbell and King interiors. Punt coming up. The Bruins have punted now on both of their possessions so far in this ball game. A minute 15 left in this first quarter. Punt. Miles Horton, I believe, back there for that punt. Take that back. That's Drew English for sale. I don't think I called his name a while ago. Drew English for that punt. Nice punt. Gets down inside the inside the 20. They're going to mark it at the 18-yard line. So another long field for JCS, but their first possession started at the 18-yard line, and five plays later they're in the end zone. JCS leads this one 7-0 with a minute to play in the first quarter. The JCS has started at the 18-yard line, the 24-yard line, and the 18-yard line. They have a touchdown and a punt. We'll see if the defense can hold right here. They had a three and out last time the USJ Bruin defense did. We'll see what they can do here. Back in the shotgun, JCS, one wide receiver out to each side. Handoff there to Deuce Lawrence. He'll shimmy there at the line. He got a first down and more all the way out to near 40-yard line. And he is quick, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it on television. That's number nine. Deuce Lawrence. He's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. Defensive back, running back, six foot, 180 pounds. He is quick. He can go left to right and then explode up the field. He shook a tackle there at the line of scrimmage and then this shot up the field all the way from the 18 out to about. So they mark it at the 37 yard line. First and 10, 35 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Pass out to the left side. It's going to be caught. Another first down for the Eagles. That catch to Jalen Mosley. Jalen Mosley ranked 138 in his class, the junior class, by ESPN rankings. So a great athlete there for JCS. Another first down. That'll give them five first downs in the ball game. First and 10, ball sits at the 49-yard line of JCS, just shy of midfield. The sun is almost completely gone down. So crowds are here. Place is packed. That'll end the first quarter. 7-0 Bruins, I'm sorry, 7-0 Bruins trail in this ball game as JCS scored on the first drive of the game. Both teams have punted in their drive since then. You're listening to USJ Football on the Ball Game Blitz Network. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Welcome back to JCS. 7 nothing Eagles lead here on their home field over the Bruins. They'll flip the field. It'll be first and 10 as JCS is continuing their drive that started at the 18-yard line, now sits just shy midfield at the 49. First and 10. Back in the shotgun pass. Downfield. There's Mosley with the catch. And he's broken free. He's going to have an angled run to the end zone, and it's 13 to nothing JCS. We just mentioned Jalen Mosley. He had that big catch. 
Austin Kelly threw that one up, and it was a one-on-one -on -one grab, and Mosley just out jumped the defender, went up and caught that ball, shook the defender, and then ran at an angle back towards center field, or midfield, rather, into the end zone. Fifty-one yard catch by Mosley. Extra point is up and good. 14-0. JCS leads the Bruins. You're watching USJ Bruin Football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Is your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes to belts to alignments to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. If it's black, round, and rolls, we have it in stock for you. I'm Taylor at King Tire Company. Come see us at any of our three convenient locations in Jackson or Humboldt and let our family take care of yours. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Welcome back to JCS. And home Eagles up 14-0 on the Bruins. JCS has had three plays. First play of the game, 18-yard line start, and they went 82 yards for a touchdown. They just repeated that 82-yard touchdown there on their third drive. They had to punt on their second drive, three and out. Bruins have punted both times they've had the ball. We'll see if they can flip that right here. The punt is caught. It's going to be out to the 20. It's going to be hit hard there at the 20, but he gets back to the 20. That's where the Bruins will start. See, so he brought that out about 19 yards. That ball was back near the goal line when he caught that. It'll be first and 20 for the Bruins. And we're in the second quarter here. The offense can get rolling here. They've had five, uh, three first downs. Make that four first downs in this ball game. And we got a flag. It looks like movement on the USJ Bruins. False start is called against USJ. That'll back them up. First and 15 from the 15. It's a second flag against USJ in this ball game. No flag so far against JCS. Handoff made in the backfield to Spencer. Just changes directions, picks up about three yards on that. And bring up second down. He shook one guy, got through that original rush of defenders, but uh, couldn't get any further. Picked up three on that. Second and 13 for the Bruins. Got a wide receiver out to the right. Creech looking for him. Creech lined up at quarterback that time. Hayden Creech, the freshman quarterback. So he came in on this drive. Now he comes out, and Corbin Howard will come back in. No fault for not noticing the quarterback change on those first two handoffs there. So Corbin Howard comes back in the ball game. It'll be third and 13, deep inside their own territory. Ball sits at the 18-yard line. Third and 13. Two wide receivers out to the right, man in the motion in the back. Pass comes, rolls right is Howard. Howard looking downfield, has a man. The catch is made at about the 27-yard line. That'll be short of a first down if they call it. Are they calling it a catch or they say it was out of bounds. They do call it a catch, but it will be short. It brings up fourth down 
And we're looking at about five. That'll bring the punt team out for USJ. So a third straight punt to start the game for the Bruins. So after backing up on a penalty, they gained a few yards, but not able to get too much of it back. Now back to punt. The yeah, Campbell King interiors punt. That one gets over midfield. It's going to roll down inside. The 40 is going to get to about the 36-yard line. It'll be spotted the 36-yard line of JCS. And the Eagles will take over, leading 14-0. Back on the field is the USJ defense. Testing their endurance here, game number four of the season. Both teams 3-0, as we mentioned. USJ's defense been out there. Now for the fourth time, 10 minutes left in the second quarter. And JCS is going to start at the 36-yard line. Pass is going to be out and complete. It's going to be a first down pickup. That pass comes out to the big fella, Daniel Green, 6'6", 240 senior, linebacker tight end. And he caught that play. Picks up another first down for JCS, their sixth first down of the night. First play from scrimmage. So they're approaching midfield, leading 14-0. Austin Kelly back to throw again. Finds Deuce Lawrence in the open field. He shakes a tackle, shakes another one, gets across midfield, lands down near the 40-yard line. They'll mark it at about the 41-yard line. So Deuce, another big pickup for the Eagles. So a couple of pass plays kind of out in the flat there for the Eagles. Playmaker. So far in this ball game, another first down, they're going to say there for JCS. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. They mark it. 9.22 to play until the half. Hand off there. Deuce shakes one tackle, gets hit, dropped right at the line of scrimmage. So no gain there. Good defense by the Bruins on that one. They sniffed that one out as Lawrence tried to shake. He shook one guy, but ran right into another one as he reversed field. And no gain on that play. Second down and 10 for the Eagles. Lawrence will come out of the game and step over to the near sideline. As we stand up here on top of the press box here at JCS. Bringing a USJ Bruin football. Handoff made there. Pick up of about three. So that handoff goes to Easton Jones. He'll get across the 40 or get right at the 40. Looks like they're gonna stick it right on top of that white chalk. In this case, white paint. Brings up third down and eight. Sound system guy played the defensive bails for third down and forgot his team was on offense. Play them bails. Third down and eight. Bruins looking for another stop right here. They've already forced one punt from JCS. See if they can get a big stop right here. In USJ territory, long pass downfield. In trouble. Might be intercepted. It's not. It was way over the head of everybody. Uncatchable by anybody, offense or defense. So that pass by Austin Kelly. They were trying for the gold. Had one man down there for the Eagles and three defenders for USJ. And he overthrew all four of them. Fourth down and eight, decision time for the Eagles. They're inside USJ territory. Ball sits at the 40-yard line. Fourth down and eight, and they are going to go for it. One more stop here. If the Bruins can get this stop right here. In the shotgun, lines up Austin Kelly, the quarterback. Got three wide receivers out to the left. He's looking that way. Rolls, throws, downfield, and it's nowhere near. As he was throwing across the middle, looks like number 22 was heading that direction, but Trent Carrier was probably 10 yards from where that ball landed. So miscommunication there somewhere, or maybe he just thought he had to get rid of it. He, he did have pressure, so... A fourth down stop for the Bruins. We'll see if that can fire up the Bruin offense. Big time defensive stop there for the Bruins. So 
So JCS on their four drives so far, two touchdowns. Both of them went 82 yards. They punted on their second drive, and then they had a turnover on downs on their fourth drive, just the end. Bruins now with the ball, their fourth possession of the night. Three punts so far. They'll start on the 40-yard line. And it'll be hit right at the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier, Spencer again. He doesn't get much on that one. May have docked him for a loss. They're going to back it up now. They'll back it up maybe six inches, so no loss there. It's back on the 40. So he's second down and 10. Corbin is the uh, Corbin Howard is the quarterback this time. Freshman Creech came in for a couple of plays in the last drive. Two wide receivers out to the far side on the right. He'll roll right. Throwing downfield. Intercepted. That interception is going to be by Kai Wyatt. He'll intercept that ball and bring it all the way back to the 35-yard line. Yeah, he threw that ball. It was just a little bit too low. Had a man open downfield, but that pass just a bit too low. And Wyatt, the big guy, jumped up and grabbed that one out of the air. Not sure if Howard just didn't see him or it was just an underthrow. Had a man open. For the first turnover of the ball game there for the Bruins. USJ has the ball up by 14. Handoff goes to Mosley. He's an exceptional ball player. We mentioned his 138th ranking in the ESPN rankings for juniors. He already called a touchdown for 51 yards. Now he got a handoff there. Picked up about three on that play. They're going to get him down to the 31-yard line. Second down and seven, six minutes and 35 seconds. The clock rolling here in the first half. Wide receiver each side for the Eagles. Handoff is made to Deuce, shakes the tackle, gets through. Now one man to beat, doesn't beat him. The tackle down there is made by the Bruins' Aaron Tunstall. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there by Tunstall because Deuce Lawrence had already broken a tackle and he was off to the races. One man to beat, and that man was Tunstall, and Tunstall said, nope, not this time. Great tackle there, touchdown saving tackle, but it'll be another first down for the Eagles, their eighth first down of the ball game. First and 10 from the 19-yard line. This drive started at the USJ 34-yard line. After the interception, going to be a tackle in the backfield. Nice tackle there. Horton. Trying to pump up his defense there. Horton down for that tackle. That sack in the backfield there. That'll back him up second and 15 for the Eagles. A beautiful night here in North Jackson. Game time temperature was 78. We're currently sitting at 75. Perfectly clear night. Dex and Christian, another handoff. Right there is the USJ defense, and they hold there. I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier was Easton Jones. They're going to mark it at about the 23-yard line. So, no, he did not. He needed, needed the 19. So, they'll mark it at about the 23-yard line. So, it'll be third down and 13. So, he did not make the original line of scrimmage. Good defense there. Third down and 13. We're in four, four down territory here, deep in the USJ territory, so we'll have to stop them twice. Hand off there goes. Shoestring tackle. They'll get back to maybe the line of scrimmage. Good tackle there by USJ's Mario Figueroa. They're going to mark it at the, about the 19-yard line, 18-yard line. Fourth and nine. And we got a timeout on the field. JCS will call this timeout. It's fourth and nine on the 18. Four minutes and 18 seconds to go 
We'll take a break with them. You're watching USJ Bruin Football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Welcome back to JCS. Decision time. Do they go for it on fourth down or do they kick a field goal? It looks like they've chosen out of the timeout to attempt a field goal. JCS up 14-0. Field goal attempt by Zach Sisko. Kick is up. Kick is no good. Score remains 14-0. Big time defensive stand by the Bruins as JCS got the ball after the interception on the USJ 34-yard line in the Bruins held no first downs and a missed field goal. Big time defensive stop there. J USJ can come back and win this one. You can circle this play right or this uh, drive right here as maybe a momentum shifter. USJ down by 14, 4 11 left in the first half. The last two possessions, a turnover on down for JCS and a missed field goal. So good job by. USA defense, keep it a minute, see if the offense can get something going. Handoff, there goes, hitting the backfield, looking for anything is Spencer. He'll spin and dart and get back maybe a yard out of that. Good job. He was hit twice in the backfield, and somehow he kept his feet going, and he got up to the 20-yard line. That, that is amazing considering where he had to, what he had to deal with on that one. Well, second down and eight for the Bruins after that two-yard run. Another toss. Breaks the tackle. Gets a first down to the Bruins. And he's still on his feet. Breaking tackles all the way out to the 41-yard line. Far side of the field. We'll see what number that is. I believe that's Melton maybe. Ball carrier Spencer. No, that was Spencer. What a run by Spencer. Two in a row, one for two yards, and one all the way out to the 40-yard line. And now another timeout. We'll take it with them as JCS calls another timeout. 14-0 JCS, but USJ driving. You're watching Bruin Football on the Ball Game Blitz Network. Turn to the experts. Since 1955, Garrett Plumbing and Heating has been the leader in plumbing, heating, and air conditioning service and installation for West Tennessee. A proud supporter of USJ Bruin Athletics, we are your local carrier factory authorized dealer. Call Garrett Plumbing and Heating, 668-3339, for all of your plumbing, heating, and air needs. Welcome back to Jackson Christian School. The Bruins on the run following that 20-yard Spencer run. He had a two-yard run that was tough. And then the 20-yard run was even tougher. Battling hits all the way, kept his feet going, nearly knocked out of bounds, but was able to spin back inbounds or spin back on the in, end of the field area and pick up a few more yards. It's now first down at the 40. Fumble on the play. JCS say they have it, and they do. Mercy me, offense was rolling right there. Momentum. And then a fumble on the handoff. So back-to-back -back possessions for USJ where they turned it over, an interception, and now a fumble. And he gives the ball back to JCS in USJ territory for the second state straight drive. Ball sits at the 38-yard line. 
Wide receiver out to each side for the Eagles. Back on defense of the Bruins. Well, that kind of was a momentum killer there. The Bruins offense was rolling there. That ball carrier, Lawrence again, going to pick up about five on that play. Horton with the tackle as Lawrence gets all the way there. No huddle offense that time as JCS quickly back under center. Hand off again to Lawrence. He's hit. Picks up a few more, though, but a nice tackle there as he only had one man to beat himself but was tripped up and stops at the 30-yard line. Again, no huddle in the shotgun. Pass comes out to the flats. Caught by Melton. Melton spin in trouble. In trouble still. Gets hit. He'll pick up the first down as he gets all the way down inside the 25. They'll mark it at about... About the 21-yard line, 22, somewhere in the middle there. Again, no huddle. They are moving quickly. JCS, no huddling it right now. Hand off to Lawrence. He'll go right side, gets down inside the 20, knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. So another game there. Second down and three. Little pitch out to Jones. He's going to be hit. He's going to get inside the 15. Not quite the first down. They're going to mark it at the 12. He needed to get to, looks like, about the 11. Yeah, third and just about a yard. They put their hands up just about a yard. So third and one. JCS running some, they huddle in here. They ran a no huddle for the previous four plays. Already leading 14 nothing are the Eagles. They've put up a lot of points this year. Hand off there. It's gonna be in the end zone and a touchdown. Easton Jones. Touchdown for the Eagles, makes it 20 to nothing. The back-to-back turnovers by the Bruins on offense, an interception, then a fumble. They dodged the interception, getting a missed field goal after great field position for JCS, but an interception or a fumble by USJ their last time. Gave them great field position again. They took it 38 yards and on five plays. Make it 21 to nothing after the extra point. 21 nothing, a minute 25 left in the half. You're, listening, you're watching USJ Bruins football on Ball Game Blitz Network. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, (laughs) no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. If you are in need of luxury interior design services, look no further than Campbell King Interiors. Based in Jackson, Tennessee, Caroline Campbell and Erica King have a combined experience of 31 years. From residential design services to commercial construction, no job is too big. Let Campbell King Interiors transform your vision into reality. You can find them at www.campbellkinginteriors.com or on Instagram and Facebook. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. Welcome that back means to JCS. Special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months. Eagles. And invoice pricing. Over the so you pay what we pay. Plus over. And Campbell King interiors kickoff. Returned by the Bruins all the way back out to the 36 yard line to start. 
Bruins need to get something going right here. Minute 16 before the half. See if they can sneak some points out of this one. We'll see what the offense does. Two wide receivers, one to each side. A man in the backfield along with the quarterback. The handoff is made. Titus Taylor gets the handoff there. He'll pick up about four or five. He'll get all the way out to the 40-yard line. They'll say 40-yard line. So it'll be a gain of four for Titus Taylor. No huddle there as the Bruins. Clock runs under a minute right there on that snap. And off to Titus Taylor again. He'll be hit at the line of scrimmage, but he'll scamper forward all the way up to about the 45-yard line. They'll still down it, though, with the 44. So that's where his lead, knee went. They say one official put it at the 45, and the other official stand at the 44. If they get it straight, they do put it at the 44. A third down and a yard, a little over a yard. Another high snap, but a handoff there to Titus Taylor. He gets the line of, to the yard marker and is pushed back. I don't think he got it. 26 seconds. The USJ is not stopping the clock. Did not get it. Just shy. The Bruins aren't. They do stop the clock there to mark the ball. So 23 seconds. On the clock here in the first half. Short of the first down, so it's fourth down and inches. They do stop. They're going to stop it and measure. They are going to measure. That ball is, and the the JCS folks are upset because that gives USJ a moment to gather themselves, maybe talk about a play, a free timeout. And they still haven't got the chains out here yet. There they come. They're going to measure this for a first down. It's, from my angle, it looks to, I don't know, it's going to be close. Another, they've had several close ones in this ball game. We'll get a pretty good angle from here. They're marking the chains. They pull it tight, and it is just short by an inch, he says. Holds up his fingers. Missed it by that much. Fourth down, 23.9 seconds to play. Got to be careful here. Do you want to come out and punt it away? Do you want to try for a first down and just end the quarter right here? They do have all their timeouts left, USJ does. Yeah, I'm sorry, they have two timeouts left. They did call a timeout. Jackson Christian has used two timeouts here in this first half. Eagles lead the Bruins 21-0, 23.9 seconds left. They're going to go for it, fourth and one. No wide receivers. Now Corbin Howard under center now pulls back. He's going to wait to the playcock. Burn as much time as he can. He's still looking at the sideline. Clock is at 15 seconds. They have rolled the clock. He's going to let it go. Nine, eight. They're waiting. They're going to let that be the end of the half. Now nobody's moving. Did somebody call a timeout? Or confusion on the field as they they're talking? Did the play clock expire, or did the game clock expire? The USJ coach was over there calling it, going to call a timeout, so we'll see what they call. Both teams are heading to their sidelines, and that'll be the first half right there. This first half belonged to Jackson Christian, 21 to nothing. The Eagles lead the Bruins, a battle of the unbeatens here. Both teams 3-0. and we got an exciting second half coming up. We'll be back with some stats. Right after these messages, you're watching USJ Bruins football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here.
your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes, to belts, to alignments, to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. Hi, this is Kurt King with King Tire Company. Did you know that you're supposed to rotate your tires every 5,000 miles? Did you know that we do that free at King Tire Company? Come see us today at any three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt and let my family take care of yours. At Dynamics Physical Therapy, we help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom on Carriage House Drive for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spa even more enjoyable. Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units, something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here. Is your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes, to belts, to alignments, to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. Chris King here with King Tire Company. Leveling kits, lift kits, wheels, and tires, we can take care of that at any of our King Tire Company locations at a price you can afford. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. 
downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Are you looking to build a career? Build a career with West Tennessee's own H&M Company. H&M is a leading coast-to-coast -coast industrial design and construction firm for Fortune 500 companies. Founded in Milan in 1957 and headquartered in Jackson, H&M is actively hiring in all areas of construction and engineering. Visit us at hmcompany.com to start building your career today. Is your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes, to belts, to alignments, to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. If it's black, round, and rolls, we have it in stock for you. I'm Taylor at King Tire Company. Come see us at any of our three convenient locations in Jackson or Humboldt and let our family take care of yours. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Turn to the experts. Since 1955, Garrett Plumbing and Heating has been the leader in plumbing, heating, and air conditioning service and installation for West Tennessee. A proud supporter of USJ Bruin Athletics, we are your local carrier factory authorized dealer. Call Garrett Plumbing and Heating, 668-3339, for all of your plumbing, heating, and air needs. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. If you are in need of luxury interior design services, look no further than Campbell King Interiors. Based in Jackson, Tennessee, Caroline Campbell and Erica King have a combined experience of 31 years. From residential design services to commercial construction, no job is too big. Let Campbell King Interiors transform your vision into reality. You can find them at www.campbellkinginteriors.com or on Instagram and Facebook. New Nissans are rolling in! Over 70 new Nissans to choose from? That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units! something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here.
your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes, to belts, to alignments, to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. Hi, this is Kurt King with King Tire Company. Did you know that you're supposed to rotate your tires every 5,000 miles? Did you know that we do that free at King Tire Company? Come see us today at any three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt and let my family take care of yours. Welcome back to Jackson Christian School here. USJ taking on JCS. The first half is in the books with the Eagles leading 21-0 in this ball game. Looking at your screen, you can see how the first half stats break down. First downs, nine to four in favor of the Eagles. Passing USJ, 28 yards, 114 for the Eagles. A big one, a 51-yard touchdown catch, a lot of that one. Rushing 15 attempts for 50 yards for the Bruins. 21 attempts, 138 yards of rushing offense for the Eagles. Fumbles, USJ, one very costly fumble. It led to a touchdown for the Eagles. Penalties. There were two penalties against USJ, but one was declined, so recording it, one for five. No penalties called against JCS in that first half. Punts, three for USJ, three for 36 yards and one punt for 48 yards for JCS. Again, your score 28, excuse me, 21 to nothing. Here at the half, about seven minutes away from starting the second half. We'll talk about uh, how the scoring went for this ball game. Both teams had six possessions. US, uh, J went on defense first, so JCS got the ball. Their first uh, drive started at the 18 yard line. Five plays later, they had gone 82 yards, capped off by a 36-yard touchdown run for Deuce Lawrence. Made it 7-0 after the extra point. USJ got the ball on the 20-yard line and had to punt. Second possession for JCS. They started on the their own 24-yard line, and it ended in a punt there. So USJ's defense stepped up, got the ball back, started on the 26-yard line, and had to punt. The third possession for the Bruins, again, starting on the 18-yard line for the second time in three drives. And again, they scored a touchdown when they started on the 18-yard line. Four plays later, they had a 51-yard touchdown catch to Mosley, the big wide receiver there. And they went 82 yards on that drive, four plays. And they led 14-0 after the extra point. The third possession for USJ resulted in a third straight punt of that first had. The fourth play, first drive rather for JCS, started on the 36-yard line, and we ended in a turnover on downs at USJ, stopped them on fourth down. Fourth drive for USJ, started on their 40-yard line, and after a pickup of about six, seven yards, their next play was an interception. JCS got the ball in great field position on their fifth drive, started at the USJ 34-yard line. Again, USJ's defense kept them in the ball game to that point, held them, forced a missed field goal. USJ got the ball back, again, on, the, on their 18-yard line. Got a big run, a 20-yard run from uh, Spencer. But then later on in that drive, fumbled the ball, giving the ball back to Jackson Christian. They got the ball again in great field position. 38-yard line of USJ. That ended with an Easton Jones 12-yard touchdown run. That drive went five plays and 38 yards. USJ did get the ball back with about a minute, a little over a minute left, about a minute, 15 seconds left in the half. Started on the 36-yard line. They got about nine yards. Had fourth and one, and uh, just let the clock run out in the first half. And that's how it ended, 21 to nothing in favor of JCS so far here in this ball game. Again, both teams 3-0 and on this night. Looking to go to 4-0, and USJ. Both teams have had to come from behind already this season, so both teams can do that, USJ's. 
offense. Scored 28 points last week. Had 20 first downs. So far they only have four, but something they can overcome maybe. They can find something to have time adjustments. In holding their opponents to just 36 first downs over three games, they've given up nine. So not terrible there. A lot of good defensive drives there. They forced a punt for JCS. Had a turnover on downs and then got a missed field goal when they started in the USJ territory. So three outstanding defensive performances on drives in that first half for USJ, but then three big plays, a 36-yard touchdown run for the first play or first score of the game for JCS, a 36-yard touchdown run by Lawrence led to the first touchdown, a 51-yard catch by Mosley led to the second touchdown, and then a turnover, a fumble in their own territory. So JCS gets the ball at the 38-yard line, and five plays later, a 12-yard touchdown run by Easton Jones and three extra points. That's where we stand at 21 to nothing. So USJ looking for some big-time adjustments here at the half, and no doubt they can do it. They have the coaching staff and the players to pull this one off. We'll take another break. Again, you're listening and watching USJ Bruin football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy. We help our clients get back to doing what they love. Dynamics is now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Welcome back to JCS. The Eagles lead the Bruins 21 nothing at halftime. The Bruins back out on the field after a halftime talk. Anticipating a big time comeback here in the second half for the Bruins. Again, played well defensively, and that sounds funny, down 21 nothing, but three of the six drives had a punt. Turnover on downs and a missed field goal. And it's just the big play. They haven't been able to stop the big play. All three touchdowns from JCS. Big plays, a 36-yard touchdown run, a 51-yard touchdown catch, and a 12-yard touchdown run following a fumble by USJ. So uh, a lot of times just the three big plays, the turnover, see if they can tighten that up. And who knows, this, this USJ team can score some points. We'll see if they can swing some things here in the second half. Again, this is Stephen Aldridge joining you, filling in for Steve Beverly, who is normally 
uh, here on the call. And also, Steve Beverly does an outstanding job calling for USJ, and he does a lot of stuff for us over at Union. So we really appreciate him. Glad to fill in for him because no doubt he has bailed us out many times uh, in different opportunities there at Union, uh, taking care of things. But a first-class guy. But uh, glad to be here, honored to do this. And, again, excited to be back covering some USJ football. Did radio for USJ from 2009 to 2011, covering two state championship appearances in 09 and 11. And then had to stop doing Friday night radio as Union went NCAA Division II, so they moved a lot of their games from Thursday to Friday night. So I became busy on my regular job, so had to had to pull back from that. But excited to be back filling in uh, for the great guys at USJ. Had a great memories calling uh, for the Bruin football team over the years. 21 nothing as they are doing their final stretches here. About a minute before we start playing. A little over a minute. As USJ back on the field. JCS back on the field getting their final stretches in the game here. Again, we said both teams 3-0. and One of them will be 4-0 and after the next two quarters. We'll take one final break. Again, you're watching USJ Bruin football on the Ball Game Blitz Network. Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Welcome back to Friday Night Football. Jackson Christian School hosting the Bruins in first half, all JCS. Second half, we're anticipating all USJ. Who's with me? 21-0, the Eagles lead the Bruins. 24 minutes of football left to be played. Second half, getting set to start. USJ will have the ball first. See if they can take care of business right here in this first possession. Again, there's six possessions in the first half. Punt, 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 interception, fumble, and then ran out of time with the ball around the timeout there right before half. The ball just over their own 40-yard line. To really, I think the 20-yard uh, Spencer run, one of the biggest offensive plays of that first half. Had a nice catch from quarterback Howard. To Sam McMillan, the tight end, a big play down the field. But those were about it. Few and far between the big plays for USJ, but three huge plays for JCS. As we mentioned, a 36-yard touchdown run led to their first touchdown. A 51-yard touchdown catch to Mosley led to their second touchdown. And then they had a 12-yard touchdown run following a fumble by USJ that set up that third touchdown. The teams are lining up. JCS getting ready to kick it off. USJ will receive. As again, this will be a Campbell King interiors kickoff. USJ will have the ball first. See if they can get a big return here, set up some good field position, and get the momentum back over to the Bruins. I want to thank Paul Schultz and all his cast and crew for all the work they do. Countless hours setting up cameras all over West Tennessee, covering so many high school and college events all over. And they do a great job. That kick's going to get all the way into the end zone, so that'll prevent any kind of run back. USJ will have the ball at the 20-yard line. Defense for JCS getting set up. The offense for the Bruins will have 80 yards to go. So all the kickoffs for JCS have gone into the end zone. They're going to come out. They're going to come here to come. Make sure you're level. 
The Bruins getting set. Quarterback Corbin Howard, the junior, back in the shotgun. And the snap. He'll be looking to throw. Going across the middle. It's going to be caught. First down. Looks like they're going to try to go in no huddle as Sam McMillan takes that one. A quick no huddle there. Now the handoff. Spencer will take it. He'll get five on that, maybe maybe four. Spencer gets up. Trying to play a little bit quicker here in this half for the Bruins. Second down and seven. They give him a gain of three on that play. Back to throw. Again, down. Gets it to McMillan again. McMillan's going to fight forward, and he's going to get a first down. They're going to give him at least a yard. They'll give him plenty on that one. So another first down. So two first downs. Replay. We'll look at it and see. Nice catch there. Sam McMillan going across. Gets contact, but then makes it. Now the handoff here is going to be another first down. Back up the middle. Nice run. So he gets stopped over. Midfield almost to the 45-yard line. They'll mark it at the 46. Noah Spencer, another big run. They'll run the clock here again. USJ playing a lot faster here in this half. We'll hand off to Spencer again. Broken tackle is going to pick up a couple. They'll get down across the 45. About the 43-yard line where they'll mark that one. It'll be second down for the Bruins. The Bruins up to seven first downs, nine for JCS. So, again, the game has been a lot closer than the 21-0 score. The three big plays by JCS's offense has been the key. One of those helped by a USJ fumble. It'll be third down as USJ does not get – Maybe a yard on that play. It'll be third down and eight. They're going to say he didn't get, or third down rather than five. So he does pick up a couple of yards on that. Third down and five for the Bruins. Clock will roll under 10 minutes on this play in the third quarter. Hand off Spencer. He'll pick up about three, but not enough for the first down. It'll be fourth down and a couple. See what the Bruins decide to do here. The ball's inside the 40-yard line of the Eagles. Fourth down and about two to go, maybe. Just like the Bruins will stay on the field, the offense will. They're going to say fourth down and three officially. The JCS crowd trying to get behind their defense. No wide receivers. It looks like a USJ guy moved. False start called against the Bruins. That'll back them up. See if that changes their mind on if they're going for it. Fourth down and eight. The USJ lineman jumped the gun just a little bit. I believe they'll send their punter back out. So after a promising start to this drive, all the way back to the 20 yard line, they got inside the 40 of JCS. So we'll see what the Bruins do. They're going to go for it. They bring in four wide receivers, do the Bruins. One man in the backfield along with the quarterback, Corbin Howard. Back to pass is Howard. Now he pulls it down. It's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage and brought down. They say he doesn't. It won't be a sack. He does get above the, or past the line of scrimmage, but not near enough for the first down. So a turnover on downs on what was a very promising start to that drive for the Bruins. That'll get a ball back to JCS. It'll be their first possession of the second half. And they'll start from the 43-yard line. Boy, a stall drive there that started so hopefully for the Bruins. Back on defense go the Bruins. Big long pass for the first play is going to be caught. And... 
inside. He's going to say he stepped in one foot down. So that's going to be a great catch there by Mosley. Another big play from Kelly to Mosley. What a pass. That's going to get him all the way down to the 31-yard line. A 23-yard catch there. That was going to be a short out pass there to the sideline. Going to be caught by Collins. He'll pick up a couple. A 26-yard catch there. Not much on that run there for JCS. Ball's inside the 30 now, just inside on the 29-yard line for the Eagles. Third down. Bruins need a stop here. That big play there. Again, USJ not able to stay away from the big plays as JCS seems to get the big play right when they need it. See if, see if the Bruins can pull up a stop right here. Third down and eight, big time defensive stand right here if they can get it. Back in the shotgun. Handoff. Up the middle. It's going to be close. Looks like he might get it. Or we'll see where they put the ball. He needed the 21. They're going to mark it at about the 22. So fourth and one. They're going to go for it real quick. No huddle. USJ scrambling to get on defense. Three wide receivers. Now another move. USJ player mad at himself or mad at something. Called for another Offsides there, so another penalty. Four flags against uh, the Bruins now. No flags so far against JCS. That first flag here on that last drive for USJ went from fourth and one, backed them up. Ended up going for it still, didn't get it. First down and 10 now for JCS as that penalty led to the first down. They're going to throw it to the corner of the end zone. Two, man, two men out there. That ball is well overthrown. Mosley was the intended receiver back there on defense. I believe that's McMillan. Far side of the field. Can't really see who that was. Nope, that's going to be Tunstall. Good defense by Tunstall. Mosley had no clear shot at that ball. It was well overthrown anyway, but Tunzel wasn't going to let him catch it. Second down and 10. The ball at the 10, at the 17 yard line. See if the Bruins can hold right here. Another handoff. Across the 15. It's going to be brought down right there at the 15. You see some of the returning experience for this JC, JCS team. No penalties, and they've done a good job of really mixing up the line for USJ. Two false starts and an offsides among the four penalties called on the Bruins. They've also got a holding penalty that was declined. Third down and eight for JCS. Ball sits on the USJ 15-yard line. 6-18 left in the third quarter. Bruins down 21-0. Snap, handoff. Up the middle. Big hole there. Gets inside the five. That'll be a first down. Big run there for Easton Jones. You see Bust right up the middle. Big hole there. Doesn't even make contact with a Bruin player until he's inside the 10. They'll mark that ball about the four-yard line. First and goal for the Eagles. There's Mosley. He's going to be hit right at the goal line and pushed back. So, a, for the moment, a touchdown-saving tackle for USJ. As Mosley in motion, you'll see that. Catches it, cuts back up that big hole in the middle and is turned back right there to goal line. Good job by the Bruins. Stopping it there, but it is second and goal. Ball sitting on the one-yard line. Bruins need a stop here big time. Can they force a turnover? A lot of men in motion for the Eagles. Two wide receivers to the near side. Snap, handoff. 
Another turn back there at the goal line. Good defense there at the goal line again by the Bruins. Deuce Lawrence that time, the big running back for, or the very talented running back for the Eagles, turned away at the goal line. So a third down now, third and goal. Bruins have held twice at the goal line. Can they do it a couple of more times? Five minutes now exactly on the clock here in the third quarter. Score still 21-0. You got a JCS player They're cramped up or something. He's up on his own power, kind of limping back to the sideline. Gets a nice hand from the crowd. I'd like to see that. Number nine. Number nine. It's going to be Deuce Lawrence. It kind of gets up gingerly there, so they'll walk him back to the sideline, get him checked out. USA's defense twice now has put up a wall there at the one-yard line. We'll see if they can do it a couple more times. Third and goal from the one. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. JCS. Lines up. Three in the backfield. Man in motion. Hand off up the middle. And what are they going to do? Did USJ stop again? Looks like they did. Another stop. It'll be fourth and goal at the one. The third straight time. See if USJ's got one more in them. Yeah, JCS has zero intentions of kicking right here. They're going to go for it. They picked up a little bit. It's fourth and inches, fourth and goal with inches to go. Man in motion. They're going to roll out, throw it wide open. Touchdown. <laughs> Fooled everybody. Nobody close to Daniel Green. So after running it for pretty much the last – Four or five plays completely fooled everybody. Daniel Green rolled out to the far side. And Austin Kelly just threw a simple little pass. Nobody in range. And an extra point away from 28 to nothing. And it is definitely 28 to nothing. So a 57 yard drive. Ends in that Daniel Green touchdown catch, and it's 28-0. You're watching USJ Bruins football on Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom on Carriage House Drive for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spa even more enjoyable. Aloha Pools and Spas massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson. Twenty-eight nothing. JCS continues to add to their lead. Cisco back for another kickoff. This will be a Campbell King Interiors kickoff. JCS added to its lead with a touchdown here on their first drive of the second half. USJ will get it back. A big hit. USJ gets it out to the uh, twenty-five yard line. And that's where the Bruins will start. Second possession of the second half, and Bruins need to start something right here. The night is getting long. Good job falling forward there by the ball carrier. 420 left in the third quarter. So JCS has now scored on four of their seven possessions in the ball game. All of them have included, all of those drives, scoring drives, have included huge plays by the Eagles. 36-yard play, 51-yard touchdown play, 36-yard touchdown play. Big-time plays there. Pass is complete for USJ. Ryan Hutchison, that catch. They'll pick up a couple yards on that play. 
You see the replay, nice pass. Not able to get much after the catch. But they do pick up a couple yards, trying to spread out this JCS defense, see if they can break one loose somewhere. Noah Spencer's been giving the ball a lot to run, but just had a 20-yard had a run and just really not able to break anything loose. Flag on the play. False start on the Bruins. That's their fifth penalty. Three false starts, an offsides, and a holding call. No flag so far called against the Eagles. So that'll back them up. It'll be second down and 12 for the Bruins. The ball sitting at the 23-yard line now. Bruins looking to break one out here, get something on the board, get something going. This offense needs a big play right here, see if they can find it on this drive. They're going to step back to throw here. Going to go for it. Got a man down the field. It's just overthrown. The intended receiver, Ryan Hutchinson, that passed a couple of yards too long. Had a little bit of separation, did Hutchinson. It just couldn't get up with that cat. It couldn't get, get up with that ball. Nicely thrown ball, just a hair over the fingertips. That would have been a play right there that would have led to seven. That would have been the big play the Bruins needed. They've got third down and 12 to the Bruins. See if they try that again. Spreading out the defense, have three wide receivers. Like that, four wide receivers, three to the far side, one to the near side. They're on the left hash mark. So a lot of space for the guy on the near side. Back to pass. They're going deep again. Man, wide open catch is made for the Bruins all the way down inside the 40. That catch made by Aaron Tunstall. We knew it was coming. Big time play there. 39-yard line, they'll mark it. 28-yard. No gain on that play. Spencer gets the pass out on the near side, but just doesn't get anywhere. Maybe actually lost a, lost a yard, maybe. Another first down for the Bruins on that last play, an eight yard, or their eighth rather, their eighth first down of the game. And just four at the half. Passing again, going for a play downfield. Oh, there was a zig and a zag. The intended receiver, Mills Terry, cut back, and the throw went out. Terry cut in. A USJ player on the field. Figueroa down. So the teams will take a knee as they administer help to the young man on the field. Now he gets up, a little bit of help. And the crowd on both sides giving a nice round of applause as he'll take some help getting off the field. They'll walk him off the field. So we hope he's okay, can come back from that. Hope it's nothing serious there. The Bruins, after a big play, Stopped a couple times. It's third and 11 now. And that big play of. Thirty-eight yard, I think I said 28. That was a 38 yard catch by Tunstall. It's third and 11 though. Now another flag. So they call. Looks like maybe uh, the flags on both sides of the field, so we'll see what they call. So he looks again, another false start on the Bruins. The near side official and the far side official line judges both threw flags, so they both saw the same thing. Thought maybe one of them saw one on one side and one saw the other. Hoping for an offsetting penalty there, but not the case. Six flags now against USJ. 
Third down and 16 now. So again, after a very promising start there, a big 25, excuse me, 38 yard catch by Tunstall. Got the Bruins inside JCS territory. They're facing a third and 16. Now the quarterback's gonna run it. And that's Creech, the freshman who came in and he got back inside the original line of scrimmage, but they're gonna be short of the first down. It'll be about fourth and six or fourth and seven. The scoreboard says six, but that looks like seven on the field. They gotta get all the way to the 29 yard line. And they're right now on the 36. So they got to get seven here. They do change the scoreboard. Fourth and seven now. So that's much more manageable. They'll go for it. It is crunch time. Down by 28 with just a minute 40 left to play in the third quarter. USJ's got a score on this drive. Back to pass. Creech is in there, and he's going to be sacked. That's going to be a JCS sack by number 48, Caleb Newsom. So after, again, another promising drive started there by USJ, just like the first drive of this half. Turnover on downs. They'll do it again. And on the second drive, another turnover on downs. And that drive included a big 38-yard catch from Tunstall. Got the Bruins all the way inside JCS territory, but they'll hand it back to JCS. Near midfield, the ball's on the 47-yard line. Back to pass. They're going for the knockout blow. Big pass down the field. It's going to be caught again by Mosley. This guy has been everywhere tonight. Mosley already has a 51-yard touchdown catch, but he's got so many more catches in there. That's going to get him all the way down inside the Bruins' 20-yard line. No, they'll say the market at the 21 yard line. Wow, what a catch. That ball floated up in the air and it just became a jump ball and Mosley just climbed the ladder and pulled that one down. Face mask, Face mask called against the Bruins. Penalty number seven on the Bruins. Really struggled in that department tonight. So it'll be first and 10. Nice pass there. Ball goes down inside the 25. The, he gets down inside the 20, but he spun back, and so he ends up losing a yard. He got down inside the 20 originally. Austin Kelly with a nice pass again. It just became a jump ball, and Mosley just climbed the ladder, beat everybody to that ball, and made the catch. Super athlete. You mentioned him as ranked number 138 in the nation by ESPN among juniors. He's showing us why tonight. Handoff there. Going to be Lawrence, who left the game with an injury moments ago, but he drove that one all the way down for 21 yards. And they're going to say touchdown. A 21-yard TD run by Lawrence. That follows a 33-yard catch. By Mosley. Extra point is up and good. 35 nothing. JCS now leads USJ. USJ running out of time. 52 seconds left to play. We'll take a break. You're watching USJ Bruins football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Not what you wanted to see for the Bruins fans. It's now 35-0 in favor of the home JCS Eagles in a battle of unbeatens here. Both teams are in this ballgame 3-0. JCS bringing back a lot of folks, a very talented team. Put up 47 on the perennial power of Trenton Peabody, though they're down a little bit this year, but 
They've proven they can score, and they've continued that proof tonight with 35 points against the USJ team that has been extremely stingy with points this year in their three wins. Yeah, another Campbell King interiors kickoff that goes into the end zone, so USJ will get the ball at the 20. The clock will run. Continuously, unless USJ can do something here. They'll start from the 20-yard line. Their first two possessions of this half, they've started with extreme confidence and really had some big plays. A 20-yard touch or 20-yard pass on that first drive got them near midfield. This, then they ended up with a turnover on downs, just stalled there. The second drive had a 20, excuse me, a 38-yard. There's going to be an interception back for a touchdown. As JCS just took advantage of another USJ turnover. Back to throw was the freshman Creech, and he just, again, right there, stepped in the front of that pass was Mosley. Mosley, as we mentioned him moments ago, Jalen Mosley has done it all. Two touchdown tonight for Mosley, an interception for a touchdown. Extra point is no good. The score is 41 to nothing. JCS following that Mosley interception. And they've scored on all three possessions so far in this second half. That will end the third quarter. Fourth quarter to go, 41 nothing. You're listening and watching USJ Bruins football on Ball Game Blitz Network. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus, over 70 pre-owned units, something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here. Needs have gone south here in the third quarter. JCS scored 21 points, excuse me, 20 points. I missed extra point. 20 points in that third quarter. They now lead 41 to nothing over the Bruins here in a crosstown rival, a matchup of undefeated teams. That quarter ended on that last play for JCS, an interception by Mosley. He now has a touchdown catch for uh, or a 51-yard catch, catch for a touchdown. And now he has an interception for a touchdown. And that Campbell King interiors kickoff will give USJ a chance to return it. They'll bring it out near the 30. It's going to be about 26, 27-yard line. Maybe about the 26-yard line is where they'll mark it. So the fourth possession of the second half for the Bruins. Again, they've had some pretty good success early. They had a couple of big plays that got them in and near JCS territory on their first two drives. But then they stalled and ended with turnover on downs, their last play. First play from scrimmage. They threw an interception that led to another touchdown for JCS. So USJ trying to get something going here. Get on the board. Trying to get that goose egg off the board. The handoff. It's going to be a no gain as they'll back him way up. We'll see where they blow the whistle. So he'll lose a couple on the play. He'll be backed up to the about 24-yard line. So it looks like a two-yard loss. They're going to say he was uh, 
backed up to about two yards. They're going to say second and maybe 12. Corbin Howard back in at quarterback. The interception moments ago was by Creech, the freshman. So he's come in on a couple of plays. Fake a handoff. Howard's going to roll back, find a man wide open. It's going to be good for the first down. He'll slip and slide out of bounds, but he'll be good enough for the first down. Near the 40, that'll go out to the 38-yard line. Another first down for the Bruins. They've had eight of those. Excuse me, nine of those now. Handoff. Good run there. Legs kept turning. Titus Taylor gets that one. He gets all the way across the 40 to the 41-yard line. About second and six maybe, second and seven. They're going to call it second and seven. That ball sits on the 41-yard line. 9.39 left to play in the ball game. USJ trying to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Hand off to Titus. He'll go around the corner, bounce off a man, then get hit hard, but he'll pick up maybe two on that play. It'll be third down. Titus Taylor, the senior running back. Now he bounced off that first hit, picked up a couple of yards after the contact there, but hit really hard there. The ball sits at the, about the 45-yard line. It'll be third down and three for the Bruins. Can they get something going offensively here? Fake handoff. Corbin. Fakes throw, now steps up and runs. He'll get another first down. The 10th first down of the game for the Bruins. Just can't put anything together so far. Had some big plays, had some nice offensive plays, just not enough of them. They've had several drives stall. They've had three turnovers, two interceptions. One fumble, one fumble led to a touchdown. The one, in, the last interception led to a touchdown. They're going to hand off to Titus again. He'll get a, about the 46 yard line, 47 yards line where they'll mark it. Good run there by Titus Taylor again. Bruins moving the ball across midfield now into JCS territory. See if the offense can get something rolling here. Clock will roll under eight minutes left in the ball game. Running continuously. Fake handoff. Rolls back to the right. Pass downfield. It's going to be tipped up in the air. Nearly intercepted, but falls down to the turf. That'll be third down now and seven. Eli Yandel nearly pulled that one in. Good defense there. Kind of maybe got a hand in there. But it went off the fingertips of Yandel. Be third down and seven now for the Bruins. In a beautiful night here, North Jackson. Handoff to Titus again. Titus will not get the first down. It'll bring up fourth down. I know they'll go here. Just Jay looking for a call on the sidelines. And this USJ team, 3-0 and on the season. Again, really didn't know what to expect coming in. New head coach, a lot of new players, a lot of experience graduated last year. So no doubt have done some wonderful things this year, and they'll take this and learn from it. Again, these guys have made some spectacular plays offensively and defensively, just, just not enough of them. They've looked really good at times. Four several punts, another penalty on the USJ team, another false start. It's their seventh flag, so they'll tidy up some of those flags. I think that's like five false starts now, one uh, offsides called just on the, on, the, on the motion. They've only had one penalty outside that. It was a holding penalty, and I believe it was the one that was declined. All the other penalties have been right there on the line of scrimmage, either a false start or offsides. So that'll back them up to fourth and ten. They'll come and punt now. This will be a Campbell King Interiors punt. They'll get it off. Nice punt. 
Bounces at the 20, rolls down, takes the USJ roll inside the 15. It'll keep rolling down to the 13-yard line. That's where JCS will take over. JCS leading 41-0 will take over on their own 13-yard line. This will be the worst starting position of the night for JCS. They don't seem to bother them as they've scored twice starting at their own 18-yard line. So new quarterback for the Eagles. Hands off, and they'll pick up a few yards there. Everett Scott, the ball carrier that time. A new quarterback is Elijah DeMoss. Second down for the Eagles. Hand off around the hand. Picks up another couple yards. That's going to be enough for the first down. But another flag on the play in the backfield. See what they call. Fault start on JCS, ladies and gentlemen. That's their first penalty of the night. And we've got four minutes to go in the ball game. The first penalty on JCS, a fault start. So we erase that first down. We put the ball on the 12-yard line. To a one yard back from the original line of scrimmage where this play or this right drive started. Second down and 11. Another flag thrown. Another false start on JCS. So the new offensive backfield is having some trouble. The one there wasn't called a, a penalty. They had a little shakeup on the handoff. Nothing became of it. They corralled it, was able to pick up a couple yards, but the next two plays have been false starts. Backs them up a little more, second down, and now 16 as the ball is inside the five, and actually the ball is on the seven-yard line. Clock has now gone under three minutes to go in the ball game. Home team celebrating tonight, up 41-0 over Crosstown Rival. Be a loss on the play as the tackle is made. Scott got tackled, lost a yard back inside the five now to the four and a half yard line. Join us next week. Steve Beverly will be back out of town this week. It's Stephen Aldridge filling in for him. Always glad to help out. Bruins back in action. Right here on Worthy Road Studios. Their handoff there, no gain on the play. Bring up fourth down. As the clock rolls under a minute, two minutes now left in the ball game. going to bring up fourth down. And they'll punt it from their own end zone. Fourth and 17 from the five-yard line. They announced fourth and 17 from the five-yard line. So will they try to punt it, or will they just turn over on downs right here with USJ five yards from score? Not that they're going to come back, but it gives USJ a chance to score. If you're JCS, you'd like to keep that zero up there. So they're going to run it down. They're going to call a timeout. We'll take it with them. JCS calls a timeout as the play clock goes down to zero, taking as much time off that clock as they could. Left a minute, six seconds on there. We'll take it with them. You're watching USJ Bruin football on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network.
Is your vehicle ready for an oil change? Did you know that we do way more than just tires? From brakes, to belts, to alignments, to even air conditioning work. Engine light on, we can fix that too. Come see us today at one of our three King Tire Company locations in Jackson and Humboldt. Chris King here with King Tire Company. Leveling kits, lift kits, wheels, and tires, we can take care of that at any of our King Tire Company locations at a price you can afford. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience bright. Welcome back to JCS. Adam Stamper back to receive this punt. Bradley Stamper, excuse me. It's going to go out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Clock is running, 55 seconds. Will USJ, will they get another playoff? Or will this be the ball game? 41 nothing. your score, the running clock for the fourth quarter. It's at 40 seconds left. USJ still over in the huddle on the sideline. Play clock has not started yet at 25 seconds. The clock now runs under 25 seconds. That'll be the ball game as USJ is not going to play another play. Well, they'll send somebody out there. We'll see if they do. They may take a knee. They don't have to. The game clock is at 15 seconds. The play clock has not started. They'll just take a knee, looks like. No, they won't even snap it. Now the clock stops for some reason. The clock has stopped for some reason. What, not sure what's going on. The referees are over on the USJ sideline talking to somebody. Not sure why the game clock has been running. It's 41 nothing, and now it stops with nine seconds left. Play clock never started. There's gave a football from I don't know. Gave the JS, JCS sideline a football that was over on the USJ side. Clock's running. Snap is back. Handoff is made. Handoff goes to number 25, Jackson Pugh. And that'll be the ball game. 41 to nothing is your final. JCS led 21 nothing at the half. They scored three touchdowns on their first three possessions of the second half. Missed one extra point. 41 to nothing is your final. USJ, three turnovers, two of those led to touchdowns. Just couldn't stay away from the big plays. USJ did finish with 10 first downs in the ball game, but just couldn't put enough of them together. JCS had the big play, a 36-yard touchdown run, a 51-yard touchdown pass, a 12-yard touchdown run following a fumble, and then opened up the uh, second half with a 57-yard drive, touchdown catch, a 33-yard or excuse me, a 21-yard touchdown catch for their second touchdown, and then an interception return for a touchdown to cap off their scoring. A 41-0 is your final here from JCS. USJ falls to 3-1 and one on the season, no doubt. They'll bounce back from this, learn a few lessons from this, and they'll be great. Come out and support these. We thank all of our sponsors this year in this game for helping USJ and getting these games on the air. Again, Steve Beverly will be back for you for the next broadcast. For Stephen Aldridge, for Paul Schultz, and all the folks at Worthy Road Studios, you've been watching USJ Bruin football on Ball Game Blitz. Directed by Paul Schultz. Replay, Ashley Janda. The camera by Jack Young. Of course, myself, Stephen Aldridge, executive producer, Paul Schultz. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. Copyright 2023. Thank you all for watching.
Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.